Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we'd like to share how to solve this kind of trigonometric equations. If possible, we should try our best to transform all the trigonometric functions to the same kind. I'm going to convert all to a sine function by using the Pythagoras identity. So we should have 2 times 1 minus sine square x plus 3 sine x is equal to the right hand side which is 0. Let's expand the first term. We have 2 minus 2 times sine squared x plus 3 sine x is equal to 0. Multiply negative 1 and rearrange the equation. We should obtain 2 sine squared x minus 3 sine x minus 2 is equal to 0. Let's factorize. We should obtain 2 sine x plus 1 times sine x minus 2 is equal to 0 which means that we should have two possibilities firstly 2 sine x plus 1 is equal to 0 or sine x minus 2 is equal to 0 for the first equation we have sine x is equal to plus move over becomes minus minus 1 over 2 and sine x minus move over becomes plus 2. The second possibility should be rejected since sine x is bounded by negative 1 to positive 1. Since this is more than 1, so we should reject. Let solve for x. If sine x is equal to negative 1 over 2, which means that x is equal to arc sine negative 1 over 2. And we know that arc sine 1 over 2 is 30 degree. Recall that we have or sine teacher crazy to obtain negative ratio for sine function we must fall within the third or the fourth quadrant unfortunately the 30 degree is in the first quadrant so which means that we should not accept this degree let's make a line on the third quadrant and we should move from the x axis and forward to the line that we have drawn on this line we should have 180 degree and we extend it by this amount which is 30 degree to reach this line in other words when we forward we should plus the value so 180 degree plus 30 is equal to 210 degree so we write it here 210 degree we have settled the third quadrant now let's proceed to the fourth quadrant also make a line from the x-axis now for this case we should move backward to reach the line that we have drawn since this is 360 degree for one complete cycle if we move backward by 30 degree which means that we should minus for this time in conclusion move forward plus move backward minus so we should have 330 degree Let's write it here, 330 degree. And now we can conclude that there are two solutions that can satisfy this equation, 210 degree and 330 degree. And hence with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.